What happened in the previous chapter is that Order has caught the man who was controlling Innocent Zero's summon giant. This was seen by Caldo and Dot. And it's where Caldo and Order had their conversation. Since Order still doesn't accept MASH, Caldo told him that there will come a time when he will need to acknowledge MASH due to his strength. In the town, news about Innocent Zero's attack on Easton Academy has spread. To prevent chaos, the Bureau of Magic is suppressing any information about it from the public. Meanwhile, MASH and his friends have decided to go to the beach after their intense battle with Innocent Zero. It turns out that Wahlberg is also there to relax. He explained that MASH is their only hope to defeat the most powerful magic user, Innocent Zero. Lance, on the other hand, told MASH that their end-off-semester exam is about to start, asking what his plan is as he's on the verge of failing. Because of this, MASH panicked and in the following scenes, his friends helped him study. At first, MASH seemed to struggle a lot and seemed on the verge of going crazy, but in the end, he managed to get through it. When the results of their test came out, it turned out that MASH somehow managed to pass. The moral lesson here was that with the help of others, we can progress in life. What's up Oni-chan? Welcome back to our manga recap series about Mashal, Magic and Muscles, a story with a mix of Harry Potter and oh. One Punch Man. So, let's start the video. As we continue with the exciting story of Mash in a world filled with magic, we turn to the Bureau of Magic. After the disturbance caused by Innocent Zero, it was decided that Dot, Lance, and Mash would proceed to the final examination of the Divine Visionary exam. Lance was slightly delighted because they had reached the final exam. Dot, however, questioned the decision to proceed even though the situation was dangerous. Suddenly, someone welcomed them there. It turned out to be Wahlberg, who said that before they proceed to the exam, each of them will be questioned by one of the Divine Visionaries. If they are not seen as fit to be Divine Visionaries, they won't be able to continue, so they need to be careful. Dot realized that it was an interview, while Lance remarked that their school really sticks to formalities. Wahlberg reminded them to just follow their guide's instructions when they are called. While Mash was practicing, he was called to proceed. A small creature named 008 was shown, and it said it would be Mash's guide from then on. Mash also greeted 008 and introduced himself. 008 told Mash to follow it and to be careful while walking. Suddenly, it expressed sympathy to Mash for the hardships he had endured. Mash, however, said that it wasn't that bad and while speaking, he noticed something. He noticed the expanse of hallway they were in. 008 said that it seemed Mash wasn't too affected by his situation. Suddenly, 008 transformed into a giant werewolf and said that it found Mash's attitude irritating. 008 attacked, but due to Mash's reflexes, he was able to easily dodge its attacks. Mash thought that it was because of what he said that 008 became like that, so he said that he doesn't want to say anything unintentionally upsetting to the person he's talking to. 008 explained that its actions weren't connected to what Mash said, and in fact, it was ordered to kill him. It asked Mash if he was familiar with Servant Beast. 008 explained that they are cursed such that they can't touch their masters, so they obediently follow them in exchange for power. 008 continued to attack while Mash simply dodged. As someone who supposedly can't use magic, Mash was told he needed to leave the exam. When Mash was about to take 008's attack, he suddenly noticed something. 008's attack hit Mash, causing an injury. 008 noticed that Mash didn't fight back against its attack. Mash explained that he realized that 008 was doing that because it wanted to. Because of this, 008 stared at him. The topics of curses and obedience were disturbing to him, Mash said. Mash touched 008's face and asked if he were 008 and was ordered to fight, he wouldn't want to hurt 008. 008 thought about this and recalled how it was treated as a servant. It was told to know its place as a slave and be happy because it was kept alive. Because of this, something hit 008. It returned to its original form while thinking that even though Mash was human, he was kind to it. Suddenly, someone attacked 008. The men asked what it was doing. When Mash turned around, he saw order, and it turns out he was the master and the one who ordered 008 to kill Mash. Because of this, 008's niece weakened, and it apologized to order. However, 
Mash stopped it from apologizing to Orter and said that it was okay. Mash prepared to fight and said that Order was the one who had a problem with him. 008 stopped him and said that a divine visionary candidate was no match for Order. Mash, on the other hand, said that he would be okay. 008 insisted on its opinion and began to tell a story. Several years ago, some Magin attacked the town. The Magin were a species with such extraordinary strength that even a divine visionary could be defeated. This strength supposedly comes from the large amount of magic energy in their bodies. An average Magin reportedly has as much energy as a top-class human magic user. At that time, the Bureau's strongest security forces were dispatched, and even they had difficulty. However, the situation wasn't the same for Order. He and his reinforcements defeated all of them. And the most astonishing part was that Order alone defeated six of the Magin. A person's abilities determine their skills intelligence, athletic capability, and even magic. Yes, striving allows for the development and refinement of this natural talent. However, you must first be blessed with talent. Orter indeed has the talent to rise above everyone else in that world of magic. Our hero was stunned and said, golly. After that, Orter told Mash that he couldn't accept him. He explained that it only takes one exception to break the system. Due to the power that Mash displayed against Innocent Zero, he successfully won the support from Wahlberg and others. However, they didn't need MASH. He claimed that he alone was enough, and he would demonstrate that to MASH. MASH also prepared himself and stated that he needed to defeat Order in order to be recognized as a divine visionary. Orter said that it would take him just three minutes to crush MASH. MASH was just staring at him. Orter began to release sand. He immediately attacked with extraordinary strength that managed to make a large hole in the floor Mash was surprised by this. It was explained while Orter was attacking that the strength of Orters and magic comes from the very versatility of the sand. He managed to capture Mash, but Mash quickly managed to free himself. While their battle was happening, it was explained that the hardened sand could cut through even steel. It can also break rocks. Moreover, its flexibility means its unpredictability is endless. That's why it's impossible to avoid. However, Mash's physique can make the impossible possible. His muscle fibers, compressed to high density, act like a tightly wound steel spring capable of releasing massive explosive force. Muscle strength is essentially a measurement of force. For example, if a person has a lateral pull of 440 kilograms, their punch has approximately 2 to 5 tons of force. At those times, Mash felt confident his muscles had surpassed the power of magic before. At this moment, muscles should once again defeat magic. However, that would only happen if Orter wasn't his opponent. Their fight paused for a moment, and Orter commented that Mash is an anomaly. Removing him from society would benefit the majority. Mash was just staring at him. Orter said that Mash might have been recognized in the academy, but he shouldn't expect the same recognition from the world. Discrimination is just a way for the survival of the fittest. He was on the wrong side of history for asking the majority to ignore him. Mash was just staring at him. Orter said that they should use 008 as an example. He was recognized as a servant because he existed to make their lives easier. Orter immediately attacked 008, which surprised Mash. 008 vomited blood and Orter enveloped him with his sand. Orter explained that when the servant beasts fail to do their jobs, they need to be punished according to the rules. Orter then threatened Mash and said that for every attack he dodges, he would hurt 008 instead. That was just an example of how Mash's pointless words and actions affect others. He needed to understand that his existence caused the net loss. Did Mash understand that? 008, on the other hand, recalled the kind words Mash said to him and in the end, he gained courage and told Mash that he would be okay. Because of that, Mash was surprised. Order then began his attack and because of what he said earlier, Mash didn't dodge it. It seemed that Mash had decided not to dodge anymore. 008 then stopped Mash from doing that because Order wanted to kill him. Nevertheless, Mash continued to receive Order's attacks. In Order's mind, he said that he had seen the full strength of Mash from the contact he made. He just needed to increase the speed and weight of his sand. After all, he's just a person. No matter how strong Mash was, his skin was still skin. Soon, Order sent his finishing blow to Mash which caused a large explosion of his sand. Mash's clothes flew along with the sand. Because of that, 
008 was worried. Orter noticed something and thought that he felt something unusual. Why did he only see shoes and a little bit of blood? It was then shown that Mash acted like Spider-Man and clung onto the pillar behind him. I'm gonna cry. Order was surprised and thought that his attack should have finished Mash earlier. 008 was astounded and said he saw something he felt he shouldn't have seen. He explained that when Orter cast his attack, Mash, using an impossible level of instantaneous force, stripped off his clothes at an extraordinary speed. Because of the speed of the event, even Mash's clothes didn't notice it happened, so they retained their shape. 008 was shocked while Orter said that it was impossible. While poised to kick, Mash said, did Orter think he would follow an unfair rule? In the end, Mash kicked Order in the head with extraordinary strength. And that's where this video ends. Do you think Order got a bump from that attack? What can he say about the strength of our protagonist now? Write your comments down below. If you want more anime and manga recaps, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on new videos.